Now then, I've been meaning to do this video for quite a while, but it all came together oh, about a month ago. I was uh, called out to have a look at a solar battery generator system and they were having trouble and one of the things was they was getting some of this crystalline growth around a couple of the terminals which had to be cleaned off, taken apart, everything shut down, it all chipped away and then covered in Vaseline that sort of thing and the other thing was I noticed that one of the battery links was quite crusty and I turned it over just sort of twisted it a bit and um, it was rotten underneath and the whole thing fell apart uh, and when you inspected it you could see that some of the fine wires inside had welded themselves back together anyway there's a battery behind me with some of this sort of growth on it so we're going to show you this and then I uh, dug out a couple of links from my box of assorted battery links that we're going to take apart and see what uh, comes of that. I've got a feeling there's faults in them but we'll show you that shortly. Let's just have a look at this uh, crystalline growth on this battery behind me. And there you go that builds up over time and rots everything away rots the copper as well you've got to be very careful of that so let's go and have a look at some of the links in the battery shed so those of you who will be familiar with this battery shed will realize there's an extra pack there made out of a few different um, battery sizes but you have to do you have to use what you can get yeah and just right there in the background um, there's a there's some four pole um, batteries there two positives and do two negatives designed to uh, let more current through and you can see some growth on that unused terminal so I'm going to have to clean that off and Vaseline it but probably what I'll do is I'll uh, like I've done here let me just come back a bit I've used some damaged terminal ends or cut off terminal ends and a bolt the correct bolt and Vaseline it all up just to keep the moisture out anyway that's the original pack and those end ones there are where we've had to replace cells that didn't match were uh, so the camera car just filled up there so moving on and now the sun's come up behind me there's another pack here this is a recent acquisition and it's made a huge difference uh, just to the smoothness of the the voltage under load of course instead of it being just all supplied by one battery it's now and then it was two and now it's three so if we're drawing 80 amps then that's divided by three and that's something like 26 amps each something like that maybe just a tad more Anyway, these are the links that we're talking about. And let's just get round out of the sun. Yeah, so we're going to investigate a couple of the damaged ones. And I think they're in my office. So let's go and have a look. So here we are, here's some links. And I'm just going to point out, this is one of the battery bolts and you can see that step there and you can see that recess there and the way these go together is that step goes in the recess and then that rubber seals against there 
and it's the same on the top of the battery so it sort of seals reasonably well and you put some Vaseline round there round there etc and it works better but in certain circumstances you get corrosion building up and um, I'm not sure if this is going to work but I'm going to put it near the camera hopefully you can hear that noise um, that's an indicator there's a problem in there it also feels just it's not smooth put it like that a little bumpy and then there's this this one here with a big bump there and it looks like there's been some damage to the the rubber coating a little bit of noise but not a huge amount but some damage there so we're going to cut these open and see uh, what's in there Hopefully we don't come across a big Clive moment. He always seems to be cutting himself. So we can see that the corrosion sort of got in there reasonably well. Hopefully you're not all cringing. Hopefully you're getting this on a good view. So the corrosion's got in there. This actually looks like steel, which is a bit um, disconcerting. So that noise was a... There you go. So it wouldn't take much, a large current passing through that, for that to get hot and then burn through the outer casing which is exactly, I suspect, what happened on that pack that I was inspecting. But you can see how the corrosion, basically acid, acid vapour or something like that, has crept up here and then this just acts like a wick. And there's some of those bluey, crystally things. So, if you get a a noise from the the link then you know it's duff now let's have a look at this one there so this looks like copper but as you can see the corrosion started so if in doubt throw them out put them in the recycling because they're bound to let you down. I mean that is amazing the way just a bit of a twist and it fell apart. Hope this has been useful. Catch up with you soon.